Welcome to the podcast. This is, as you all know, Explore Lucid Dreaming. Can you tell everybody your name? Um, my name is Explore Lucid Dreaming. <laughs> I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't done like a, a name reveal yet. So people oh, just you not? Oh, on I... YouTube now, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize. I thought in the um, base reveal you did the name. That's fine. The anonymous <laughs> yeah, not Explore yet. Lucid Dreaming. Or Mr. Beluga. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beluga. As you all know, he's obviously the uh, creator of Explore Lucid Dreaming, very big channel, the biggest channel about lucid dreaming, a million subscribers, probably more now. So uh, congrats. Thank you. Um, did you, so did you think you would reach a million that fast? Like what was your kind of plan? Uh, on, on Explore Lucid Dreaming? Yeah. I mean, I didn't really know like that it, that it could be done, but I think once the first video went viral, like when I started the channel, then I kind of realized that there was the potential for like a, a bigger audience out there. So it was really neat. Like when I first got a hundred thousand, I didn't even think that was possible. It was just something I did for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. You know, cause I remember when, I think I remember when you published like your first couple of videos and I mm -hmm. saw it being talked about on, I think it was Reddit. And uh, I think at that point you had about three, 4,000 subs. Yeah. <laughs> and, then I, and then I checked back like a, a few weeks later and it was just, I mean, I can't remember how many exactly, but it was, it was a lot more. And then it just kept on like snowballing basically. Yeah. It was weird. I think, I think the hardest milestone was like 10,000. And then after that, yeah, that's kind of when I got the first lucky or like viral video and then it went up to a hundred thousand in like a couple couple days i think or a week that's amazing yeah i'm curious like what your plan is for beluga do you plan to be the biggest youtube channel no that's <laughs> not really my plan i would say i i just like making videos on there mm -hmm. that like people enjoy and because it's just so much fun to like get the feedback and and like make like sometimes when i have an idea that i'm super confident about and then just like releasing it and seeing all the people i know like messaging me and say like that was really funny or something like that i think i'm just gonna keep doing it as long as i can make entertaining content that i believe in and the channel kind of grows i guess like in proportion to how good your videos are and like so i don't really have any like subscriber goals it's mainly just the content itself. Like I always want to innovate my content and like try to find the next thing with that and just keep doing it as long as I have fun. That's pretty much the goal for Beluga. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a pretty good goal to be honest. Just have fun with it, be creative and obviously people like it. So it's kind of a win-win. Yeah, I think How like you... create creativity is probably like my favorite part about YouTube and just yeah. being able to, to make whatever video that you can think of. Yeah, for sure. And there's so many different like different directions you could go with it and styles. Yeah. Like, how did you get into actually video editing or like video making? Well, I've always been interested, I would say like in YouTube itself. My first channel I started when I was in grade six. And I think like right away when I would start shooting videos, like I did gaming back in the day on like a super small channel. Really? Um, <laughs> but I think you just kind of learned it as you go because you shoot uh -huh. something and then you're like, okay, what do I do with it? Or there's like this section that you have to cut out. How do I do that? Um, back then I only had my, I think like my phone. So I had to download apps and like splice things out of there. iMovie and stuff like that. Uh, eventually when I got a computer, I got Premiere. And that's really when I started Explore Lucid Dreaming because I, I did kind of teach myself how to use Premiere and just like the things you could do on it. And then figured out, like learn the things that I needed to do for that channel, which yeah. basically was put a bunch of clips have like transitions, text, music, you know, sync my voice up with it. Can't imagine editing off on a phone. That must be. Yeah, <laughs> it was brutal. I don't yeah. think anybody should have to do that. Like it's and edit editing gaming footage. Like, would you? How would you even do that? Would you transfer it from your console to your phone and then? I used to be like a console YouTuber, but the reason I never really did well is because I would film the like the TV screen with my phone camera. <laughs> right. <laughs> It was really bad quality, but I yeah, wouldn't... isn't there like a weird flickering when you do that? Yeah, and it was like an iPod too, so because I didn't have a oh. phone till till I was older, but it yeah, it was like flickering, it was bad, and then I would like try to edit, like cut it together, and yeah. try to like save the clip with editing. Um, so maybe <laughs> I learned I learned a bit from that, like cutting out boring parts. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's interesting. Do you think you'll ever make another gaming channel or like go back to gaming channel? Um. I think if there's a specific game that's like really good for YouTube and there's like an idea that, that can be executed, like I would never sit down and just play a game like for YouTube because mm. that's already done. Um, like that's already been done like a million times and there's not really anything unique. I think if you're able to make like skits or like stories through video games, then I would do that. But I wouldn't, 
I wouldn't know if I would be like a gaming YouTuber then, or if I would just be like a, like a story person. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. I, I do like creating like stories and, and carrying them out on right now it's discord, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty like the characters you make for the, on the Beluga channel is pretty funny actually. So yeah, that's, very creative. It, it was like a complete 180 for my lucid dreaming channel, which <laughs> yeah. I just realized like how much creativity I had with it. Like, cause it was a completely different channel. I could do anything I wanted. And I'm just like, it, it was so much fun to plan mm. that out and to like create characters and stuff for it. How long does it, does it take you to come up with an idea for the Beluga channel? Like one of the Discord stories where you have different characters and sound effects. And everything. I think like the the idea for the title and thumbnail of the video um, usually takes like one or two hours. And then once I have like the idea, then I mm. just write the script for it, which it can take a long time depending on the idea, because some ideas are like harder to get a script for um, and then other ones are more straightforward like yeah. like a story related to like when your phone's at one percent well you kind of know where it's going to lead and you just kind of like fill in the gaps so it really depends but usually a few hours that's a pretty good time mm -hmm. yeah. how about you how, how long does it take to like get all your your research together and your topic or whatever i mean kind of depends on the on the top if i'm just responding to a question or you know a comment or something Mm -hmm. um then not very long because it's just based on my knowledge experience memory but if it's more of a complicated or if i'm like presenting information like about a supplement for example or research or mm -hmm. yeah then it can take longer maybe a few hours mm. depends do you, you know, do depends. you write like an exact script like word for word or no no no, no. Like an outline. Have, <laughs> yeah exactly i have like yeah uh, like keywords Little, little statements and sentences mm -hmm. and then they'll be next to the camera so i just like look at the keyword to remind me and then just kind of improvise on that yeah because otherwise i don't know maybe it sounds too scripted if i if i were to write out an actual script compared to if yeah. i just had a keyword and then just kind of spoke naturally about it yeah and like also people don't naturally talk like they would write so people yeah. would definitely know if you're reading off something yeah yeah exactly have you thought about doing um like tiktok or like making mm -hmm. small pieces of uh of your channel videos into tiktoks um i have you already i i know like people repost my stuff on tiktok but they usually yeah. have to like cut it up into small segments but i feel like i always want to just focus if i'm making videos to make them on youtube because then uh -huh. you have more creativity and you can kind of do more with longer videos because on tiktok like how much impact can you have on someone if you only have a few seconds before they swipe up um so you, there's like only so many ideas you can do and usually they're pretty like shallow surface level ideas like just try to get a quick laugh before they swipe up whereas on youtube like if you have a really good idea you make into a video it can be like an hour long and you could mm. still have success with it which like i would rather make long videos or medium length videos than like 10 20 second short videos yeah but there is a lot of people on tiktok and yeah it's it's a huge site <laughs> yeah i noticed i i think i actually saw a couple of people like reposting your explore lucid dreaming stuff on tiktok and oh yeah <laughs> um, i just yeah i just think maybe that some of the beluga ideas could be translated to like a really short form mm -hmm. and they'd probably do really well because i see a lot of short like youtube shorts reels and stuff where it's very similar style you know like the quick editing entertaining storyline but condensed into a so it's engaging you know um, yeah but yeah i guess youtube is m more impactful because it's a mm -hmm. bit longer and also i feel like when you build an audience on youtube they'll stay with you longer than on tiktok and just like you can really get to know someone on youtube more than mm -hmm. a platform like tiktok um like i don't really know i only know like a few people on tiktok but they're also on youtube and mm. when i think of them it's like i think of their youtube channel mainly and um i think like yeah I'd, I'd rather build things on youtube than kind of try to get like fast growth or you know like tens of millions of views on tiktok and i think also the way they count a view is a bit different from from what i understand youtube counts a view as anything above 30 or 20 or 30 seconds but with tiktok it's like it's almost automatic that it counts the view so even if you're yeah. scrolling past it instantly it's still technically a view which is actually worthless i mean it doesn't they they might not have even watched the video they might just be like scrolling while they're looking at something else <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, you know it's 